So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This passage of scripture comes from Isaiah 41.10, and it's a clear command and encouraging reminder of how we should act in times of difficulty or fear. What I find interesting about verses about fear is the contrast between our human design and our spiritual calling. As humans, we're wired to handle fear in one of three ways, either fight, flight, or freeze. So the God who designed us gave us this amazing survival mechanism for fear, but he also calls us not to. When facing fear, we're given a unique opportunity to experience God's power in a big way. God tells us not to fear because he is with us. He is close to us. If you've ever wondered if God is near, you could be confident that in moments of fear, he's closer than ever. And scripture tells us that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. What if in moments of fear, we could instead be surrounded by God's peace? The second part of the verse says that he will strengthen us and help us. In times of difficulty, we have two major things we can focus on. We can remember what God has done for us in the past. That would be our testimony or testimonies. And we can focus on what he has promised to do in the future through his word or maybe through words you've received in prayer. See, God has strengthened us through our past trials. Everything we've experienced up until now, God has and can use to strengthen us. And he will do so in this one if we give that to him. And even if we don't feel strong enough, he says that he will help us. We never have to carry any burden alone. Knowing God changes everything. If we were left to deal with the challenges of life in our own strength, fear would crumble us every time. But when we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we can overcome even life's toughest challenges. Let's pray together. God, I pray that right now, wherever we're at today, that your spirit would fill us with your strength and that you would help us to overcome whatever it is we're facing in our life now. I pray that your peace would cover us and that we wouldn't have to fear. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen.